Now, as I'm continuing to watch this Lindsay Williams Satanist videos, um, they really had this guy saying that the only war worth fighting about is the war within your own country in the USA and fight for your rights. This is the war. This is the chaos. This is the frustration that they want to, the elites want to encourage. Um, they're not saying it directly, but they're indirectly implying that that's the answer. They want war and they want you to be angry and frustrated because that's how they can manipulate you even more. And then the next video goes into Detroit <laughs> and um, why Detroit is such a corrupt area and it was, you know, making all of these cars and making all of this wealth and getting all this free subsidy from governments and um, a lot of liberal governments and, uh, you know, unions. And that's why it all came and fell apart. And um, they were saying that these union workers, the, impl the implied message that I'm getting is that if workers demanded the wages that they deserved, it increases the price of the vehicles, making it so overpriced nobody could afford to buy them. Now, while this is true, there's zero mention about the management and how much money they make. They absolutely, totally ignored looking at the private jets, the huge income, the huge bonuses these upper management get and compare those wages with the workers that are actually doing the job. Now, I've been always totally against unions. Um, while I'm in support of fighting for equal pay, um, what happens with unions is a lot of your paycheck goes into them and they are usually just as corrupt as management. So you've got two corrupt systems and you're still not getting the wage that you deserve. Things are not functioning properly because you should just get paid what you're worth. Don't get overpaid because then you overprice your product and then you're out of work. And then these jobs, there was zero mention that free trade has taken a lot of jobs out. So a lot of people can't afford to buy their cars because they're all freaking out of work because all the jobs went to different countries. They failed to sort of introduce that as the equation as why Detroit went down. And when you're fighting two corrupt systems, like the government's, well, three corrupt systems, the government systems, the um, management of big corporation systems, and the union systems, wouldn't that put you on drugs? You know, there, there's a reason why people go on drugs. And usually, I mean, the way to solve any drug problem is to kind of realize that the causes of why people are on drugs. And the number one reason is government is pushing drugs. They're pushing you to live in so much chaos that the only cure to release this chaos is by taking a drug. The medical community does that to you all the time. If you got a problem, ignore the problem, just take a pill. Um, and the war on drugs, if you notice, there's more um, attention spent on fighting the war on drugs and zero dollars is ever looked at why people are on drugs in the first place. Anybody who's on a drug is looking for an answer. They're looking for why life doesn't work properly, why you are not happy with your life. And we've programmed everybody to believe stuff will make you happy and then when you get your stuff you find out that your stuff doesn't make you happy um detroit has been you know a, a lot of manipulation out of their sex cells um tits and ass so you have programmed women to believe that the only thing you're good for is tits and ass and you have no brain so um, over the generations, women are starting to believe that that's all they're good for. Um, a lot of fathers aren't uh, um, paying their child support. 
I have firsthand experience with that. Um, a lot of wealthy guys that are making huge bucks in the auto industry, how many of them were paying their child support? How many of these guys that, you know, sex sells, went out and had sex with everybody and anybody they wanted and fathered a bunch of children and never paid their child support? And women that are dealing with this level of abuse, um, you cannot work and raise children at the same time. You cannot get the same level of income and support children and deal with abusive fathers, you know, so you end up on a welfare system. So, you know, that leads to drugs because you don't even know who you are anymore. You've been programmed by commercials to buy stuff and stuff makes you happy. Commercials are constantly telling women they're just nothing but tits and ass. And you have all of these men that treat women as though they're only tits and ass. Men don't even know what they're doing. You know, it's not to say men are bad guys. You've been trained to believe that you are the master and you know all and that you're supposed to treat women like shit. And you are a big guy if you know how to treat guys, women like shit. And, and women will flock at you if you treat them like shit. You know, so th this guy is pure Satan. He is not giving the full and complete picture as to why Detroit failed. This is why I've suggested that in a new economic system that we have a shared profit. That upper management is earning the exact same amount as the worker. And you're getting paid what you're worth. Not overly paid because then your product is costing way too much for what anybody else can afford. Plus your jobs have to be created within your community. If you send your jobs to a different country through free trade, your prices go up. Plus, if you overtax something, the price of the product goes up and you can no longer afford it. You know, so when they're saying, oh, these green cars didn't sell, and so that's not the answer, bullshit. There is a lot of programming going involved to make you not even purchase these vehicles. We are not structuring our businesses to even build anything to last. They're all being built so that they break down so you have a new job to do. But we have this concept of leasing that if everybody that was doing a job got a percentage off of the leasing, then you're working less and earning more. And, you know, our economic systems have the opportunity to function a lot better. But these friggin' elites think that they know it all and yet they can't see that they are the problem and while they say that they got to eliminate most of the planet it's like if we just sort of eliminated the few elites that think they're so freaking smart and all of these pastors who are saying nothing but negative shit that sort of look like Satan themselves you know we would all function a lot better but <sighs> taking a deep breath nobody knows what they're doing that's the end result even these evil guys you know they think they know it all but they just don't know it all and once they can admit that once they can kind of see okay maybe I don't know everything and maybe I'm very angry maybe I'm very frustrated because I'm not getting the end result that I want um, maybe even they will start seeing a different picture. I really truly believe um, that we need to set the example like Jesus did and forgive them for they know not what they're doing. And if you look at this, this Williams guy, he sure does not know what he's talking about if he can put a video together and give the explanation that this is why Detroit died, you know, is because of liberal thinking, you know, because green cars don't sell, you know, or employees wanted too much pay that ended up costing too much for these vehicles. No, it's upper management. Yes, it is the unions. It's every single aspect of our reality that was greedy. 
um, our marketing had a lot to do with it that made us think that we were less than and that was the cause to a lot of the problem. Forgive them for they know not what they're doing, but hopefully this is a sign for something good.